Hi, welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming, Urban Gardener, and good morning. I'm out early this morning. It's about 6.30 in the morning on June 8th, and just look how beautiful that my irises are turning out to be. Like I said, they did not uh, bloom last season, but this season they are just full of blooms, and we're out here right now doing some yard work. We've got some sticks and things that we're having to clean up out here. Um, but anyway, last year, on this same day, we had a hailstorm that completely destroyed the garden. So let's hope that we don't have that happen today. And that's Thumbelina. She's walking through the irises and chewing on some grass that keeps coming up in here. And I've got in here and I've pulled all the grass out, but it still happens. And we're out here on the north side of the house. That's where the irises are located. And here is also where we have our strawberries, at least one kiddie pool of strawberries. And you can see that these have came back quite well. Um, I think we've got eight in there that have came back, possibly nine. Um, and some more are still greening up a little bit. And we've even gotten some strawberries. I'm not sure that you can see them down in there. Let me see if I can pull back the fencing. We do that to keep the birds out of them because they eat them. So there you can see the strawberries that are coming back and we've got a bloom on one of them a couple of blooms and uh, keep pulling weeds out of here and keep having to pull weeds out of here but we're gonna get some more strawberries and put in here um, of these particular varieties that overwintered and kind of uh, rework the soil a little bit put some more additives into it now this is also where I have planted some squash seeds and I haven't seen them start coming up yet but they should be up in the next few days I just planted them a few days ago and we've got some lilies that are coming up over here that I had planted in previous seasons some of them are black lilies so we've got that going on over here and some of them have started getting quite big um, and I have to get in here and weed some more our lawnmower is down right now, so you can see that our lawn is quite uh, overgrown, and that's because our lawnmower is down, as well as our sprinkler system. So our sprinkler system is being changed over today. Um, we've had quite a few repairmen out, and that's why I've not been able to make videos quite consistently, is because we've had so many people coming in and out of the house, and... Uh, there's the irises you can see how many of them are bloomed and we still have tons and tons of blooms to happen and they do have like multiple blooms on each stalk so sometimes they'll have four or more blooms per stalk so they're just going to be absolutely full in there but anyway we've had repairmen coming in and we've had sprinkler guys coming in to work on the sprinkler system and just working like crazy to trim trees because you can see some limbs over here where, where we have trimmed so we've got that uh, trimming and cleaning walkways and I've been trimming some of the vine there's a Virginia creeper vine that goes all along the fence here we've been trimming that back um, because it was just becoming so overgrown um, so you can see where we have basically cut the ends off all the way along and just left one main um, I guess limb that you want to say um, for each bunch and it looks like what happened is that whoever planted these which were previous owners of the house they just basically went along the fence line and planted Virginia creeper every so um, every couple of feet or so so you can see there's a bunch there there's a bunch there there's a bunch there there's a bunch there and they do spread but they also keep the main um, rooting system in there so every few feet they planted a vine which they really did shouldn't have they only really needed a couple of vines and they would have uh, went ahead and spread anyway so we went in and trimmed a lot of this out eventually I will may maybe completely eliminate the Virginia creeper vine because it's just so invasive 
Um, it comes up all over the yard because they have seeds as well. Um, so we've been doing that. There's not a whole lot I can do across the fence because that is owned by another property. So that has to kind of stay there. But we have moved some of the pots around um, since we've got this all cleaned up now. So we put our mint in the other shaded plants over here. And then we still have our main sun plants over here along the new fence around the garden. And that's something else we've been doing is putting a fence around our garden. You can see the fence here. So we've got the fencing there and we have fencing here. Get out of the garden and the dogs still get in the fence. So I've been trying to keep my dogs out of the fencing. Um, it's keeping a lot of other things out, like rabbits and the squirrels have even been deterred a little bit because they actually have to either hop the fence or go through the fence and they're not liking it. So anyway, we got this whole area cleaned up. This is right in front of the main door, as you can see here. And we had pots that were lining both sides and that has all changed now. We've only got them on one side and then this is all cleaned up. Let me give you another view. And I did have to replant my kale that was the dinosaur kale because it just did not, it came up, there was some that came up, but it was just not a very good germination. So I went in here and put in some more soil and uh, reworked that to get some more germination out of them. And then I need to pull some weeds over there. The beets are doing great. We've gotten quite a bit of germination on the beets. But I may go in here and just plant some more because there's some, it's a little spotty in some areas. Um, the rutabagas, I'm going to leave them as is because I didn't want that many rutabagas. There was too many last season. So we only have a few in here. That's fine with me. And then we've got our pumpkins planted over here. There's 16 bunches of pumpkins and it looks like one of them has came up now. Um, but just a lot of stuff going on and we've got our bok choy and it's right here is where the rhubarb is. There's two big plants of rhubarb. And then we've got Swiss chard in this area, which is coming up and then we have bok choy and you can see the bok choy just came up like crazy in here so we have that I think I'm going to work some more of the soil today in this area to put some spinach because we didn't have a whole lot of room left we have plants in this area through here and a little bit of debris because that's where we were cleaning up the fence line so we've got two kiwis in here hardy kiwis that we have planted um, you have to plant them about 10 feet apart. So we've got the female on this side and the male on this side. And then we put some more of our pots through here since we've cleaned this up. This is our thyme, lemon thyme, and we got another plant of lemon thyme. Um, we've got some lavender over here, which is now starting to come up. And our fuchsia plants. And of course, here is the main garden. And you can see the fencing that we've put in all along and around the garden. But all of our plants are doing great. So I guess you can kind of consider this an update or a tour of the garden. Just see the progress. Some of our cabbages and things are getting well established now. Getting some new leaves. Getting bigger. And so is the broccoli. And the cauliflower. And then we've got our celery over here. Um, back over here we have our potatoes are starting to come up for those three short rows, which is fantastic. I was beginning to wonder. Um, the two big mounds of carrots, they have started to come up. It's kind of hard to see them, but if you see a little bit of greenery on the top, that is the carrots. And then the lettuce behind that is all up. Um, just, I'm amazed at the cabbages, like how much they've changed since we planted them because they were so small. They were my seed that I'd saved and um, I'd done my own seeds and I was just surprised how much they had changed in such a short amount of time. And uh, the cauliflower has been interesting because 
it was really, really tiny and it has really started to come on. Um, some of them are doing better than others, but one of them turned out to be actually a pepper plant and I'm not sure how we got that mixed up, but it happened. And then of course our celery through here is actually doing fantastic and our peppers all doing wonderful still, um, just continuing to get bigger and even the ones that I started from seed even though it doesn't look like a whole lot of growth they are definitely coming on and are bigger and then our lettuce and behind has all come up and we have onions coming up back there and still the onions from last season are over there and I haven't seen any of the squash seeds come up yet I may have to end up replanting those we're just gonna wait a couple more days to find out actually I see one I believe coming up because the soil is starting to crack so I don't know if you can see that there but that where it's cracking is squash plants getting ready to come up so they are coming up so I planted my green zucchini and my yellow straight neck squash at the same time so they both will start coming up and then we do have some okra that has started coming up through here but I think my daughter's gonna have to end up replanting um, some okra through here because it just seems to be coming up and then dying off and it may be that it is too cool in the ground we've had a very cool um, kind of wet spring and the temperatures of the soil are only about 50 to 55 degrees which is not fantastic for more um, warm loving plants all of our peas came up you can see they are just thick as thieves through there and those are both the bush peas and the pole variety peas. Again, we planted the super snappy, which is more of a pole variety. We'll get a much taller than the bush variety, which is the Cascadian peas and um, the Alaska snow peas. And then all of our tomatoes are still doing fantastic. I'm getting a lot of growth on them now. Um, really beginning to look more like solid tomato plants than kind of just wimpy <laughs> as they were before so we've definitely got that going on i'd actually had um accidentally hit this tomato plant with my garden hose and had broken it off nearly and it just had bounced right back so i'm very happy with that that's a san Mar marzano um all of our onions are looking fantastic it's about time to give them a what's called a haircut so it promotes more growth to go into the bulb instead of to the greenery so look at all of those onions and I actually have a hundred more onions to plants that I've got to figure out where I can put them and it may be between each of the tomato plants we'll find out um, but we just have really expanded the garden now trying to, to really maximize every bit of available space that we have um, extremely happy with the beans because we've got such good germination on the beans this season and I, I struggled last season to even get any to come up until they finally did um, so that is all of our half runner beans almost all of them came up and I think actually all of them have came up because I see a couple more that have came up since yesterday um, but we got 25 half runner bean seeds and it looks like all of them have came up so that is fantastic germination now I did not get good germination on my Kentucky Wonder beans this season so I have switched those out for rattlesnake pole beans so those are planted all through this area and I just planted those two days ago so they have not came up yet but that is what's going on here is rattlesnake pole beans now up a little further is the Japanese yard long beans. Um, we have both the red variety and the green variety. And all of those came up surprisingly, which I struggled with last season to get them to come up. So every single one of those came up. Um, so we've got those all along the taller trellises because they're gonna need a lot of room to grow. And then all of our bush beans, we um, had some provider bush beans and all of those came up except for one section for some reason at the very beginning so I planted 25 of the top crop bush beans in that area 
just a couple days ago to fill in. So we'll find out if those come up. And then all along the back part of the fence here, or trellis, we did not have any of the same, same Japanese yard long beans come up. Just the front part did, which is very strange. So anyway, we'll go into a part two of the video because I wanted to show you more of what's going on in the garden. So we'll see you in the part two.